Welcome back again, friends. It's another time, another episode of, well, not really another episode. It's the first episode of the uh, Seattle Kraken Expansion Draft. Oh, this is going to be probably the last one to do for NHL 20. Um, I wasn't really sure if I was going to do or buy NHL 21, but um, it looks really encouraging, guys. Um, the trailer looks really good. Everything I've heard from the insiders that have been playing it said that franchise mode has been been updated that be a pro has been completely revamped so hopefully next year well not that later on this year i guess i should say crap i just dropped my drop my controller later on this year um we'll be doing a doing a be a pro um if it's really going to be that immersive i might actually see uh, I, I finally have a little bit of time um we're going to be having at least two days a week where we don't have a nurse at this time so that means i'll be able to have some privacy and and make a video with uh nobody being around I'm a little weird. Apologize my slurpy slurpiness. I'm drinking a drinking a Mountain Dew right now. Um, and uh, yeah, uh, if you hear any kind of slurping or clickety clackety in the background, we did get a dog. So we have we have a doggo now. Um, he was just in here harassing me, um, and he was drinking very loudly. So I decided I'd wait until um, he was done slurping and drinking before I started the video. But again, I'm TCY, guys. I'm the Cranky Yankee. We are going to start our expansion draft with the Seattle Kraken. Now, they finally um, revealed the name, logo, and um, I don't... Oh, we'll, we'll go to the first game and, and see if, I, if we got time. We'll go into the first game, and I'll show you the... Show you the um, uh, speak of the devil. Hi. Jonah, the dog. Our dead dog's name is Jonah, or Jojo. Call him Jojo for short. He's kind of in a mood right now. I got him wound up earlier, so now he's kind of in the kind of a little hyperactive. He's only two, so he's a puppy, so he's probably gonna be. Uh, I gotta keep an eye on him. So not. What are you doing? Quit being a pain. He's getting into stuff now. Anyways, let's go to the expansion draft. I did actually realize after this, um, I forgot to add an expa uh, uh, and uh, add a contract year. So we're gonna have people like Taylor Hall, Tori Krug, and all these guys available. Um, in the expansion draft, we pick... Ooh, wow, Vancouver went up to first out of tenth. So we are going to be picking sixth. Wonderful. Awesome. That's going to be not probably not that great of a prospect. Um, maybe a top six if we're lucky. But, um, yeah, so let's go to the expansion draft here. It's... Okay, it's thinking. All right, so we're going to... Let's start right... Let's kick, kick it right off. We're going to go with the expansion draft. All right, Anaheim. Um... Let's see. Who do we get? We can get Jacob Larson as a def defense, and we get uh, Jack Kapaka. Um, I'm thinking I might want to go with uh, five years, though. I don't know. He's got five. I mean, that's not a bad cap hit for five years. I mean, if you put a what? You put him on, what, 34? Adam Henrique. Um, they got for goalies. I don't remember. Stolars. Mm -hmm. Miller. Mm -hmm. Kevin Boyle. I'm debating whether we should go with a really trash team or whether we should just, you know, I think I'm going to get best player available. Let's just go with best player available. I think that's what we're going to do. Um, we'll go with best player. So we're going to get Adam Henrique here. Um, best player available, and then we're going to try to trade as many guys as we can um, before the draft. We're definitely going to get Taylor Hall. Um, we'll get Taylor Hall. He's going to be our left wing sniper there. He always produces, at least puts up at least 70, 80 points every year. I've played with them. Um, is Tori Krug available? He is. So let's go with Kruger. So we got, uh, there we go. We got two uh, two elites here. We got Taylor Hall and Tori Krug. Um, Buffalo. Who's available for Buffalo? Uh, all right, let's see. Who do we have for goalies? Any goaltenders? Not really anybody. Carter Hutton and Andrew, Andrew Hammond. Why did Andrew Hammond get traded to Buffalo? Um, Kyle Pozo. No, I think I might go for a prospect here. See if we got anybody. We've got Fro Leaks. Got one year. Simmons, we could get Simmons. You know, we I'm, I, we'll look through, but I think I might go with Simmons. Jake McCabe, nah, he's he's 81. He's he's all right. He could be decent, but he's only got one more year really left of growth, or maybe two more years of growth. Um. Oh yeah, Jimmy VC. He's a little old. Not great. Not great for old Zemgis Gergensons. Eh. 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 Not a whole lot. Scott Wilson. Scott Wilson. Um, you know what? Let's go with the Wayne train here. We're gonna go with Wayne Simmons. We need a right winger there, so there's our first line of Wayne Simmons, 
Taylor Hall and Adam Henrique. Probably won't put Wayne Simmons on the first line, but so far that's what he's going. He's the best right winger we got. Um, ooh, should we go with Krug and Geo? Definitely can trade one of them. You know what? Let's do it. Let's just see what they got for goalies first. Anybody? We got uh, Gillies, who's high starter, but eh, I don't know. Cam Talbot, nah. Um, let's go with potentials. We got Sam Bennett, who's okay, but his his fa oh no, his faceoffs are actually pretty good. Okay, well we could go. With, that's that's an option. Um, Matthew Phillips, but he's awfully low overall. Um, Oliver Kyling, is it Shilling Shilling Shillington Kylington? I don't know. Giro Dan, I mean, that'd be, well, that'd be a hell of a, of a top two, 88, 87, number one, number two, but they're both lefties, right? Let's see, is Corey Krug's a lefty, right? They're both left-handed shot. He's an offensive defenseman. I need to pick, I need to go back and look and see. Tory Krug is, he is a lefty. So he's a left-handed offensive defenseman with another left-handed offensive wow. defenseman. Um, Giro Dan, oh, he's got three years left, bigger cap hit. I think we're going to, you know what, no, let's pick, we'll, we'll, I think we will pick him, actually. Is that Dougie or Derek Ryan, not Dougie Ryan. Um, Bennett's Bennett's tempting for for some center center uh, prospect, but he's a low top six, and he's probably not gonna be better than a third liner. You know, let's go with Gio. We'll get with Giordano. Um, we got 58 million left in cap space. We already got 23 million up in just these five guys now. Um, but there we go. We'll probably trade Gio. And what? How old is Krug? I forget. How old is he? Is he 30? He's 28. So we're probably gonna keep. We're gonna keep Krug. We'll keep Krug, but we're definitely gonna trade Gio. We'll trade Giordano um, as soon as we can. Um, Hayden Flurry, he doesn't ever produce for me, though. I mean, he's got that good potential, but it's just one of those things where it's like, I just don't know. Um, we could always go with Brett Pesci, who's medium top four, 24 years old, 80 overall. That's a possibility. He's right, right shot. Um, Flurry is a lefty, so I think we might go with Brett Pesci here because he is a right-handed shot, or a right-handed shot, which we need. Um, there's also Nidjelkovic. Ooh, you know what? No, we're going to get our first one here. We're going to get with Alex Nedeljkovic because he's, he's always actually ends up being quite good in the long term. So there's our, our AHL starter for goalie. Um, who do we have here in Chicago? Slater Cuckoo and Ian McCosin. Both lefties, goalies, and there's nothing good. Malcolm Subban. No, I don't want Subban. Um, Joel, John Quenville. Maybe he's... 75 and 23. I mean, he's still an AHLer, but he he's 23. He could definitely definitely do some growing. Faceoffs are okay. Shots okay. He's kind of just overall okay. He's uh his shooting and physical are his best categories. A three star, um, solid. You know, let let let's go with go with John Quenville. Some some AHL guys there. Um, for lack of anybody else, um, uh, Donskoy is an option. Nichushkin. Ooh. Valerie Nichushkin, medium top six, 79 at 24. We also got Nikita Zadorov, who's a left shot. We already got that red righty. I think we might need another another uh, another righty because we do have uh, Krug and Geo, who are both left hand shot uh, left shot defensemen. Um, Kamenev, Greer, who do they have for goalies? They've got Bebo, nope, and Hutchinson, nope. Not interested. Yeah, let's go with Valerina Chushkin here. He can be our right hand, a right-handed sniper. Although we are probably going to pick up um, Gary Anov from Dallas when we get down there. Um, but let's see, we got we got Josh Anderson, another right winger, top six. Eh. Nudavara Carlson. He's a left shot. He's a left shot. Peaks a right shot. Twenty-one at seventy-five though. Interesting. He's already seventy-five. Andrew Peak. Hey, babe. Okay. That's fine. Um, Mers looking. Ooh, interesting. Do we go with Mers looking? This has our backup. He could be a backup. We all we already got. Let's see, Vavalina. You see, that's thing about Columbus. They got some good, good de uh, gold depth here. Um, and the dog makes his presence known. That is him trying to drink water that's not there. Hey, can you check his bowl? And see if it's empty. Yeah. He's snooping on yeah, that 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 that's Jonah. He makes his Stop putting your foot in it! Why are you always gonna put your foot in your water dish? He's such a weird dog, I swear to God. We love him to death. He loves it here. He's great with the kids, but by God he's a goofball. Alright, so let's go with he's the perfect dog. Yeah, that is why he's the perfect dog for us, because he's a complete goofball. Um, Foino, I don't know, let's see a Kuwe. 
He's a great. Oh, he's got good face offs though. He could be a center. You know what? Let's pick up. Let's get let's get Felino. Actually, I'm not sure. Do I want Felino? God, that is loud. Yeah, he is a very loud drinker. Oh, I'm uh wait, what about, what about Anderson? What is Anderson's face offs? 65. No, I'm thinking Felino might be a better option. We could always change it to a center. Or do we go with Merzlikins? Merzlikins. Merzlikins, Merzlikins. Let's go with, let's get, yeah, let's get him in set. We got our, our backup goalie. And here we go. We're going to go with Garyanov here. 22 at 79, low elite. Absolutely. Also, there's Jason Dickinson as a center. 23, 78 overall, medium, top six. 74 faceoffs. I mean, that's not a bad option either. I mean, his shooting is pretty solid already. Face-offs are pretty decent. Um, physical skating is pretty good. 85s across the board, except for endurance. But I mean, 85s across the board for that offense awareness passing. That's good. Defense awareness is solid. Uh, about Garyanov, let's just check him out here. 84, 84. Yep, his shooting's definitely better. Skating's better. Well, other than endurance, but I mean, he's, yeah, I definitely think Garyanov is better. The better option. What's his face-off? So 60. Um, but that's okay. We're gonna go with Garyanov here. He's gonna be another another elite talent that we have coming up here. Um, to match, ooh, Brad Perlini or Ernie? Adam Ernie, medium top six, 24, 77, left wing. He's a power forward. Got great face-offs. Hi. You gonna come bug me now that I'm making a video? No, you're gonna go see mom, you're gonna go hang out with mom? Okay. Yeah, there you go. You're gonna go hang out with mom. And trips tri tri over the bag as he walks away. Um, oh, well, uh, I don't know. The, the offense where it's passing is just not well. Adam Ernie, what's his? 81-81. I think I'd probably rather go with Ernie, honestly. He's a year older and not quite as good. However, there's also Tamasha, who's actually looking like he's a playmaker. So you know what? No, let's go with let's. Okay, we got to check goalies. I don't think they have anybody. No, they've got Howard and Bernier. No, thank you. Um, oh, Madison Bowie. Oh, he's a very go. Right shot defenseman, Madison Bowie. Bowie, Bowie. Um, two way defenseman. Um, you know what? We need some more D. We only got two. We got plenty of right. We got three right wingers. Yeah, let's go with, let's go with, um, Madison Bowie here. Edmonton. Who's Edmonton going to give me? Who's Edmonton got for top? Let's see. We got James the Real Deal Neil. Oh, I'm tempted. Jujar Kyra. Uh, uh, doesn't ever do well though. He's a grinder. He just his face off. I mean, he's okay defensively. Yeah, 83, 83, 85, 88, 88, 81. Fighting skills low though. He's kind of nothing to report. Fourth line penalty kill two fits in an all power fits in along the lines of our coach Tyson Jovanovski's scheme. All power play lines. I don't even know what we have for goal for uh, um. Now, um, Marcus Granlin, 26, 76, what's your receipt fitting? We'll do whatever it takes to win to be on a winning team, but lacks loyalty. Okay, well, that's not great. Um, he's not going to even make the team. We could pick up Kyra here for a fourth-line center as a grinder. I think that's what we're going to do. I don't think he's going to get any better than that, but, you know, let's go with Kyra. You never know. Could be a, could be a sleeper pick for us. Ooh, Hoffman. We already got no. Well, he could be a second. Like, he's, would he be listed as a second liner? He's a sniper. Yeah, he would be uh, offensive line too. Um. So he's on second line. All penalty. All penalty killing lines. Really? What's his defensive? <sighs> I wouldn't put him on there myself. Brian. Brian Boyle. What's his face offs at 80? Really good. Um, Howl, uh, playmaker, he could be what? He's 28. Should be a second line. What about Nola Chari? He's a bit younger, but not a quite as good. Two way forward, decent face offs. What's Howl's face offs? 79. Yeah, Howl's actually got better face offs. And now Quincy's making, his, making himself on. He would be a third line center. So I think, you know what? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about Florida. I know a lot of their players, but... Ooh, Dryden Hunt. Nope, we're going to go Dryden Hunt, but he's not a good center. He's only got 65 plate faceoffs for a center. But Dryden Hunt generally does... Actually, Lamico would be a better center. 
two way forward 79 84 79 84 decent shooting decent physical good skating and decent on everything else um 80 and 79 for that and that um 80 and 80 for passing for hunt um i definitely think that lamico i think is going to be the better would be the better option between those two but i'll make mckenzie weaver he's another 24 okay here we go he could be a bottom six guy for us um defensive 80 40 45 so he's good defensively um shooting's not the best physical's okay offensive winners and pass you know what? let's go with mckenzie weaver my goodness buddy what are you doing? What are you doing to our dog? That dog just ran in here like a bat out of hell. He is all wound up. He's got the zoomies now. You can hear Katie is giggling her little head off right now. Are you okay? Oh, this dog. He just ran into our room. I know, he's got the... He's got the... He's trying to lay, lay him on his bed and just like slid right into the, into the toy box. You got the zoomies. Why are you biting me? I'll help you get on the bed. I'll I think he wants to go outside and P-L-A-Y right now. He was trying to get up on the bed. Was he? And so I got off to help him, and that was when he ran out of the room. Crazy, crazy, crazy dog. Oh, Dermot, Luff. Oh, what do they got for goalies? Anybody? Jonathan Quick. Four years. Oof. I don't want that cap hit, though. Not a fan of that cap hit. Decent starter, but no. Let's go with Luff. For lack of somebody else, Minnesota, Minnesota. Yeah. Got uh, we, we got Rask. Oh, is he? Oh, well, he's probably not gonna get any better. He'd be 76 overall. He'd be a playmaker. Um, he wouldn't be. He would be an AHL. Or, ooh, Eric Stahl. Hmm, we could have Stahl in the first line. That might not be a bad plan. Bad idea. Uh, yeah, I think we're gonna go. He's got two years. Yep, yep, yep. I'm thinking let's just see goalies. Stay locked. Nope. Um, let's just go with potential first one to see. But no, I think that's gonna be. Here we go. We're gonna go with Stall. We could all, honestly just go shoot right for the playoffs, too. We really could. We could just go right straight for the playoffs. Um, we could probably make it, honestly. We probably could. Lauren Dolphin, Lauren Dolphin, how's your face off me? Uh, not the worst, not the best. Um, Charlie Lindgren, not too bad, but I don't think he's going to get much better. We already have a backup, and we already have an AHL guy, so I don't know as though I necessarily want to have him. Because we've got, who do we got? We've got Nedeljkovic and Merzlikens as our backup. Ooh. Oh, if they have him available, I already have him on who I think I'm going to go with our starter. So there's Joel Armia. We already have, we don't need a right wing. Paul Byron, no. We might go with Dauphin, honestly. Yeah, let's go with Lauren Dauphin. See what he does, what he can give us. We can always go with Saros, too. Um, Rocco Grimaldi. We do need some left wingers. How would he look? 70 for... Uh, offensive fourth liner. It says forward line two. Can struggle with professionalism, but cares about winning. Uh, Yakov Trenin, he's a solid dude, too. Now let's go with Grimaldi. Oh, he's got an extension, but still, it's only two by two. That's still, that's, I'm, I'm still okay with that. That's still fine with me. New Jersey Devils, are they going to give us P.K. Subban? No, but they're going to give him Mirko, Mir Mirko Mueller. Goalies. Corey Schneider. Hell no. Um, hmm. Connor Carrick, 25 and 78. Top six. 2A. Sure. Because there's not really much options. The Islanders. Jordan. Ooh. We don't need more right wingers, so though. We've got plenty. Uh, just Jordan Schmaltz. Hmm. Dow Cole. I usually get Dal Cole, and he does end up eventually, he takes a couple of years, but he does eventually get there. Um, there's all Adam Pellick, who's a high top six at 24, 78, left-handed shot. Defensive defenseman, Ugh, I don't really like defensive defensemen, they're both defensive defensemen. Um, yeah, let's go with uh, Michael Dal Cole. 
Two years left at $7 million. All right, let's keep going now. The New York Rangers. The Rangers. Um, the Boar Hayek actually is a really decently good option. Danny O'Regan, who doesn't ever get to be anything. Ty freaking Ronning, the legend himself. Um, do we go with Ty Ronning? He's what, a sniper, correct? Yes. Uh, offensive awareness passing is decent. He's actually got good faceoffs. He could be a center. He could be a center. So you know what? Let's do it. Or do I want Labor Hayek or Boo Neves? Nope, we're gonna go with Ronning. Ty Ronning, Ty freaking Ronning. X Tech GM mode legend, Ty freaking Ronning. Um, I also definitely think that I want. Anthony Duclair, or do I want George Jace Howerluck? Howerluck always turns out to be good too. Hello again. Dog has got the zoomies. I've never seen him like this. We got him on Thursday, and he's finally starting to feel comfortable in the house, and now he's starting to act like a goofball. Goalies, no one. K. Craig Anderson. No, you're way too old. The fact that he's that old and still that good is actually pretty impressive, but no, we're gonna go with uh, Anthony Duclair. No, we switch him to a lefty or righty if we need him. Oh, well, let's see. Slop, slop, slop. Ooh, Matt Niskanen. Two years. You know what? I might pick up Niskanen. He's a pretty decent guy. There's also Scott Lawton. Decent pick for a left. Who's a decent choice for a left wing? Um. <clears throat> Got a lot of righties though. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Niskanen. Let's just see who they have for goalies. Lion, yeah. Who's that? Nah, Alex Lion. No, no, thank you. I ain't Lion. Yeah, let's go. Wait, is he defensive defenseman? No, he's two-way. Okay. Just, oh, he's got pretty decent power. Um, skating's actually pretty good for a guy who's 32. Um, defensively, he's really, yeah. I think we're gonna go with Matt Niskanen. So Matt Niskanen, ooh, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh. Who can we get? We got so many choices here. Bustad, Hornquist, Sherry, Schultz, Aston Reese, who I almost always get because I love Aston Reese. Simone, ooh, Bluger. Bluger or Simone? That's the thing. Dominic Simone is a snipe center sniper. What's Bluger's faceoffs? Yeah, so Quincy's crying. He's got better faceoffs, but he's a two way forward. Um, 81, 85, 81, 85, 81, 87, 81, 86. 8485 for okay. Oh, Blue Bear does look like the better player, honestly. And then there's Rodriguez, who's 8485, 8485, 84, Actually, honestly, Rodriguez has actually got a really good. We might go with Rodriguez. Like, I don't think he's gonna get any better, but he's like a solid, like, third, fourth line scorer. Still says he's an AHLer, but I don't know. Let's see what about Bluger. What's what, what's what's Bluger listed as? Still, they're all. Simone is again. They're all considered AHL guys. Um, what about do we get Jari? Do we get Jari? Or DeSmith? Get DeSmith and have DeSmith. You know what? Fuck it. Three years. Let's go with DeSmith. I never get DeSmith as a starter, but I really like Casey DeSmith, so we're going to go with him. See, there's also Nozen. Okay. Or Nozen. Whatever you want to call him. about goalies? Martin Jones. Hell freaking no. Actually, you know what? I'm going to check something real quick. Let's go and see. Is Markstrom available? Because if Markstrom available, I'm going to give Jerry back. He is. Okay, so we're going to go with Markstrom. There's our goalie. So now we need to go back. I think we're going to go with, uh, with, uh, Bluger. Or do we go with Bukestad? He's a center. Do we need another center? We could use another center. Power forward. Fourth, offensive line four? I don't know. Like, what's the difference between, like, this says the, the line scout? Oh, he was scouted on the fourth line. All forward lines, all power play lines. So he pretty much fits anywhere. On our team, that's good with our goat, with our coach. Simone would be nowhere. Bluger would be again nowhere. Oh no, top six forward lines. Let's go with Bluger because he's already got some potential. Looks like to be uh, get better faceoffs too, right? Seventy-five. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Let's go with. We're gonna go with Teddy Bluger and San Jose. Um, Dalton Prout. Nope. Johnny Brodzinski. No. They don't have anything here man they don't have anybody here 
guess we'll just go with Nosen because there's not really any other option. St. Louis. Ooh, they got Petrangelo too? Fuck. We're just going to load up on freaking defensemen, aren't we? We can always get Sammy Blay, who's really good, but I think I'm going to go with Petrangelo. It's also Tyler Bozak. I don't know. Let's go with Petrangelo. We're just going to have a freaking stacked defense. Hmm. Anthony Shirelli, hell freaking yeah. I don't, even need, I don't even need to debate that. There's no debating that at all. So we're going to have Markstrom and Merzlikens as our number one and two in the net. Um, we got Nick Patan, Andreas Janssen, Peter Eng, Pierre Engvall, who's got an extension. I'm not sure. That might not be a bad. What's he looking at? Engvall is okay. How about uh, John Janssen? If I have not very good faith, what's this? He's pretty decent. All penalty killing lines. A good leader in the locker room and very loyal. He fits pen the, 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 the penalty. Is that a penalty kill, right? Or power play? All penalty. Why are you having a sniper play penalty kill? Doesn't even make sense. Four years of three. I'm thinking I might go with no. Engvall. Low top six. Nick Patan could play in the AHL. He's actually got really good face offs. He could actually be a center too. Check and see what they have for goalies. Kasku, Kas, Kaskisuo, medium fringe starter. Maybe give him the backup role. And, oh, we can always go with Kapanen. We don't need any more right wingers though. We got too many freaking right wingers. Zach Hyman. Oh, Zach Hyman's an 81. Really? Zach Hyman's that good? Really? Cool. I did not know that. I don't really pay attention to the, uh, let's go to Egg Ball. Because why not? I've never had him, so let's go to him. So Washington, who do we get from Washington? Kovachuk! No, we'll pick him up for you. Just we don't pick him up. We can totally get him. Duh, Sprong! Yes, Daniel Sprong. I love Daniel Sprong. Got the Pittsburgh Penguins jersey. He was drafted. Second round, 46 overall, sniper. Daniel Sprong. We're going to have like a million. Oh, we can't take any right winger. So I guess we'll go with Siegenthaler. So we need some defensemen. And in Winnipeg, we'll get a defenseman from Winnipeg, too, because I don't think we have much option. As far as that goes, let's see goalies. Ooh, there's Comrie, too. Ooh, do we go with Comrie? Or do we go with Merce Lickens? Who's older? Isn't Merce Lickens older? Go back to Columbus here. Right? Merce Lickens is how old? Because Comrie's 23, Narzekins is 25. You know what? We're going to pick a defenseman here. We're going to go with David Savard, 2 way defenseman. Two years at 425. 25, it's about 25 million in cap space. Um, we got eight. Now let's go with the left winger. So what are we thinking? Thinking Boone Jenner? No, he's not that good. Not gonna get not really gonna get any better. Go with Devin Shore. Nope, he's a center. Um I guess we're gonna have to go with uh Savard. Two years at 425. And then we're gonna get uh Comrie. Eric Com Aaron Comrie. Gonna be our backup. There we go. So we got Marksham and Comrie. All right, guys, there we go. That is our, we got 20, 25 minutes left. All right. Okay, just give me orders. All right, yes, that is my team. That's what I want to select. Definitely see who we're going to be trading in this offseason. Um, Hall's going to stay. Draft interviews, I don't know as though I necessarily want to draft. Let's just check out the draft class and see. Rodrigo Layton. Damn. Wayne Gretzky, he's going to be good. One, two, three, four, five, six. Top six D? Is we have available in Doug Cruz? Oh, ooh. Albert Urquhart, there we go. Um, I think that's probably going to be the guy. 
Curtis Gomez maybe a uh, center possible elite um, so let's interview Gomez and we'll see um, strengths and weaknesses actually no let's go to a new topic um, play style let's go with your play style you are making passes so he's a playmaker how ready are you few seasons so he's three years out okay so he's a few years out but that that's that's not terrible um how about your personality it's the type of person you are um, how about uh, what would you try your personality uh i stand for myself and my team i want to win at all costs okay cool that's encouraging thanks for opportunity to be here. all right so that was uh, curtis gomez playmaker passionate three years all right so he's three years out not too shabby um, and let's go with Urquhart. Oh, he's probably a medium elite. That was awesome. Um, all right, nice. I like that. Um, Urquhart, he's a sniper, so let's interview him just to see. Um, play, so, all right, how ready are you? What's your readiness? He's also three years out. Um, I'm thinking that Gomez guy might be the one to go with. He's going to have a low overall. However, he is, um, looks like he's probably going to be at least a high top six. Com Smith from Azure, get along with everyone. Nice. Okay. I like that. Um, let's see what your strengths and weaknesses are. What's your biggest weakness? More of a skill player, so he's not physical, but that's okay. He's a, I think he's a sniper, so that's okay. All right, that's fine. So we had Urquhart and that guy. Cool, cool. So he's professional, physical, three-year ETA. Did it make his? Did it improve his his anything better? No, he's still a three-bar um, elite. Uh, look at Chev. He's playing in the CHL, so he's probably not gonna be that good. Um, yeah, Gomez is the only one that's like for sure, for sure. Pear, Pierce, nope, all these guys. Um, let's go with this Sergei Safranov and just see what he wants to tell us. So let's see your play style. What do you play? What kind of what kind of game are you playing? A strong forward likes to drive the net while wearing. Okay, so he's a power forward. Like that. How about some readiness to be honest with you. Really see, he's also three years out, so not terrible. Um, and let's see what your personality is. So you're very well, well, well rounded. Okay. Works for me. I'm a of questions asked for this interview. All right. I don't know if I can interview anyone else. So he's three years out. Power forward. So I'm thinking it's gonna probably be that uh, medium elite guy up here, that Gomez. I think it's gonna be Gomez, the center. I think it's gonna be Curtis Gomez. Let's see, do we have, oh, it doesn't doesn't list. He was playing in USA Central. So we may not sign him. We may get a chance to get this Carol Brzgalov Briz as well. He looks pretty good. Marcus, he's one year out. Um, a, B, 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 C. Braden Shen person, uh, comparison though. Alice, where's that low elite guy? Urquhart. No. Okay. Okay. Well, that's uh, that's okay. Well, that that's what we're gonna do for the interview. So let's uh, advance a day here. Put all our dudes. We'll trade some guys next year because we're gonna have a lot better uh, options. Um. So let's uh, let's do our draft here. We got six overall pick. Let's see who falls to us. Who's Vancouver gonna get? They because they need another franchise player behind Pet with Pedersen. Eighty overall right winger. Wait, wow, that's pretty damn good. Okay, um, number two was McCormick, seventy-seven overall medium elite, and Nashville picks up seventy-five overall medium elite sniper in Brzgalov. All right, he was a pretty good pickup too. Um, Pritchett was sixty-four medium top six. Ooh. 
But I mean, Carol, Colorado, you know, they can, they can, they can make, they can make that work. Top six, four, six, two. Just, is it Josh or Justin? Josh Williams. All right, now we get to make our pick. Who's available? That top six guy, that Cruz. So we go with Urquhart or Gomez. Mm -hmm. What did we decide? Was it Urquhart? It was the center, wasn't it? It was Gomez. Um, fuck it. We're going to go Curtis Gomez. Hopefully he's a medium elite. No, top six. He is better than Williams, though. Let's see here. How's his face off? 69. Mm. Not terrible. That's that. That's okay. That's that's an okay pick. Let's look at the rest of this top ten here and see. Um, Hadfield was nah. Um, Cruz was a medium top. Oh, that was that. That was that defenseman. Never mind. What about that other dude? He was a low elite sniper, left wing sniper. I mean, I think I'm. I think I'm. I'm. I'm yeah, I mean, there's this very slight difference. Face offs are just as good. Um, but yeah, I mean, it was kind of a it was kind of a toss up between the two. Um, Alexandrinov, another decent one. Arizona, who are they going to get with 11? Top six. Where's it going to start falling off here? Another top six. Likichev, Bob Kov. Yeah, it looks like that's the, that's the drop off right there. Uh, top nine, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, let's know our next pick here, number 35, which I think is the third overall pick in the second round. That is true. And let's say we got some top nines here, maybe. So let's see what we got available here. Anybody here? We got a fringe starter, Thomas Volk. Or we got Terrell Terry. Terrell Terry, that's interesting. Um, Falk can be a backup. Let's just look at potentials. Any other, any more exact indicates? Nope, no exacts. Any top six exacts? Nope. I think Terry's gonna be that pick. Let's just go with a goalie just to see. 38 overall, let's go with Terrell Terry. Um, and there's also Brody, but he's way, he's way far now. We'll go with Terrell Terry, or Terrell Terry. Terrell or Terrell? I think it's Terrell. Terrell Terry. TT. Uh, I mean, you back up. Nope. Not worth it. But this is, this is a trash draft. Everybody knows this first year draft is meh. Yeah, bottom six is already in the third round. Um, let's go with this Edmonds guy, right? Lucas Edmonds. He's a possibility of being an elite. Um, right wing. Possibly a sniper five years out. Let's just... Go with any old dude here. Medium bottom six, right wing two way forward. Meh. Uh, D. Jolly, bottom six. Does not look like it's going to be anything encouraging down here. If we get a bottom six, I think I'd be pretty happy. Pierce, I'm not picking him because he's not that good. I guarantee it. Valenti, also not that good. I guarantee it. Marcos Smith, Marcos Smith Pelly. That's a hard name to say because I'm two S's. Um, Lee Reagan. And Don Campbell. Um, we are in 99, so those are a little out of the way here. We can still pick them up. Let's go with, uh, you know what, fudge it. Let's go with Pierce. I doubt he's that good. He's probably a top nine. He's a bottom six. Yeah, whatever. May end up signing him. May not. May not. I don't know. We're already down to the AHL potential guys here. Um, I don't really think we're going to see a whole lot better here. Oh, a Belgian. Metas Rollins. Okay, then. Larabek Malkin. Boris Malkin. Hell with it. Sure. I like the name. I like the Russians. Let's go with Sergei Fanisenkov. Maybe we can get him in the next, with the next one. Um, let's go with Boris Malkin. I don't think he's going to be any good, but you never know. We'll see with a name like Malkin. He could be something. Nope, medium bottom six, power forward, right winger. Nope, nothing great, nothing extravagant. Um, third pick in the sixth round. We got this. We got two more picks left. This one and the other one. Um, Elias Wesley or Marcos Smith Pelly. That I, I just don't want to have to say that name ever. Carol Niz Niznikov Niz Nizhin. Yeah, Niznikov. Niznikov. Kirill Niznikov. That's a. I can. I can do it. I can. I can pronounce that. Um, lefty defenseman. Looks like maybe a two-way. Possibly a top four. He's probably going to be like a seventh. Yeah. 
medium seventh. Oh, FD though. Well, you never know. It might be a sleeper pick. Oh, look, there's a bottom six there in the seventh round. There's some, still some bottom sixes here. So, I mean, there's still some NHL potential guys. Not many. Well, I guess we're going to go with Afanasenkov then, aren't we? Um, Sergei Afanasenkov? Sure. The uh, um, Estonian? Is that? I believe that's Estonia. Let's see. So Afanasenkov. Uh, medium dot. Medium seven. All right. Let's sim the entire draft. And that's it. So the only really good pick we got was Gomez. Um, that was really literally that. That's the only one we got. He's a medium top six. Probably the worst first pick I've ever gotten. First draft. Usually I get at least an elite. I also generally don't fall that low either. Um, all right, we're going to sim the resign phase. Um, we, got some, we got nine skaters that we need to resign. Okay. Let's go to contracts. Who needs, who needs a contract? I can think of several. Um, Petrangelo, he needs a contract. What does he want? Seven years at eight. Let's give him seven by eight, see if he takes that. Because I like nice even round numbers. Um, Taylor Hall, what do you want? He wants eight. Let's try eight by eight. See if he'll take that. Eight by eight. So we got eight year contracts for Petrangelo and Hall. Um, Tori Krug also needs a contract. Five years at five. Let's do five five for five years. Tori Krug um, and Duclair. What do you want? Five years. Eesh. What do you want? Five seven five seven two five. Yeah, that'd be like three mil. Three mil for five years. Let's see if he wants that. All right, now let's just straight up go this way. Now we got Shirelli needs a contract. Definitely want to bring back Shirelli. Let's give him two mil. Two mil for a year just to bring you back, get you on the get you on the block. Lauren Dolphin, maybe one year, seven two five. Let's just give him the max max entry. Um, Gomez, we're gonna leave him off contract for one year. See how he grows. All right, all of our left wingers have been signed. Wayne Train, um, Guryanov, absolutely. Two years, of, let's just give him 1.4, that works for me. Um, Nichushkin, yes. 925 for one year, sure. Um, Luff is just gonna have, he's just gonna have, yep, AHL contract. Nazan, he wants two years at nine, sure, I'll offer him that. Um, and Simmons, one, two, three, four. Um, actually, yeah, that works for me. Bowie, Bowie needs a contract. Sure. And Uyghur wants to come back as well. Sure, just offer whatever they want. That's fine. It's not a lot. Siegenthaler, you can come back to. Sure. Because we're definitely going to be getting rid, rid of Geo and maybe Niskanen. Um, probably Niskanen and Giordano. So then we'll have Petrangelo and Krug. And then Savard, Carrick, Bowie, Weger. And then Siegenthaler maybe playing down. Fanasenkov, yeah. There's those trashy guys. And goalies, we got Markstrom. Lock him down long term, five. Yep, yeah, sure. Give him what he wants. I don't think he's going to take that, but we'll, we'll give it to him. We can pick up another guy in, in the offseason. All right, so there's our, all our contracts. Let's see who, who, who says yes and says no. Um, can I do? No, I cannot look at the at that yet. Oh, we've got 11 minutes. Got to wrap this up in the near future. We'll get through uh, We'll get through the, the, the free sign phase. Rejects out dollar. Okay, so Krug wants more money. Nachushkin's back. Garyanov said yes. Bowie said yes. Uyghur. Um, Duclair wants more money. Petrangelo decided to come, though. Nozen. Shirelli. Nice. Mark wants to... Okay, we got to offer him some more money. Um, Siegenthaler would like to come back. Okay. Uh, Hall wants more money. Dolphin said yes. Luff said yes. All right. So we got most of the guys. We still got a few guys we got to work on, but um, Petrangelo actually surprised me that he came back. Um, Krug. 
let's just offer you what you want first, and we'll offer Hall what he wants as well, just to see. Um, declare. Let's give him four by five. Or something. He wants three seven. Let's just give him what he wants. Remember, got all these guys what they want first. Simmons. Sure. Why not? Could always get him back in free agency, but okay. So all those guys I know we need. Markstrom. What do you want? Five two five for five. Let's just offer him what he wants. I think we got the money for it. Let's advance another day. So Krug said yes. Simmons said yes. Declare said yes. Markstrom still wants more money and all. So just Markstrom now. So everybody came back for what they wanted. So how much cap space do we have now? Are we going to be capped out? No pun intended. He's about 12 mil. Okay, okay. We, we are going to have a whole ton of cap space. Um, but we definitely have enough to sign Markstrom. Let's see if he wants five and a half for five. How does that work? How about that? He wants more money. Markstrom, how much money are you going to want, buddy? Okay, I've got, what, six mil? Ooh, man. Oh goodness. Um, let's give him six by five. I'm not gonna give you. It. Yeah, cause that'll bring him to 34. So yeah, let's give him 66 by five. If he plays well, he can still stay that good or get better. So let's see if he takes six by five. We only got two more days left. There we go. All right. And uh, let's just double check and make sure we got everybody that we need. Um. All skaters. We have six points. We have six million cap space, so not a ton of cap space left. But we definitely have some guys that we can move that we plan on moving. I like Geo being one, especially. And that's it. Yeah. Um, Gomez, but Gomez can play one more year in the United States and let him grow. And uh, yeah, that's it. So yeah. Double check our goalies. That's everybody. All right. So we got six mil for Marshram. That's actually not a bad. I think that's a pretty fair contract, honestly, for him. Um, so, all right, let's go to free agency here and see what we need. Okay. So, first of all, where is our trading block? Let's go to our trading block. Who is on the block? No, no, and no. We don't want any of those, but we do want to put on... Let's go by the old dudes. Who are old guys? So we'll put Geo. Geo can go on there. Surplus? No. And I don't want to give up any of my picks. I would like to keep my picks, please. You guys know me. I love, I love my picks. Um, we got seven minutes. Okay, we got enough time to get through here. We won't do the free agency in this video, but we will at least take a look and see who's available and get a little gander at what we need here. Um, I don't want these guys here. No, no, no. What I would like is, yes, yes, is I want all the picks. I want all the picks. All I want is picks. Draft of glory, boys. Draft of glory. Just like, just like Toogie. I love my draft of glory. So Geo, who else can we put on here? Who's old? Um, Stall. How many years does he have? One year left. No, I'm not gonna put Stall on there. Um, Niskanen, we will. Um, we got thirty. Wayne Simmons. No, he's he's fine. Um, Petrangelo. We just signed him. Um, how about? Not draft picks. No. I want to see goaltenders. Markstrom, Comrade, and Alkovic. Uh, you know what? I think that's actually going to be it. It's just Niskanen and Geo. Because uh, we still got all these guys. Um. Okay. Cool. So there's our trade block for now. Um, let's just look at our contracts and see what we need. There might be a few guys we might want to move around and everything, but let's see. Let's go with centers. See, what we got so we got 
Stahl, Henrik, Shirelli, Bluger, and Kyra. Actually, I like that because I'm probably going to use Kyra as the as um, Bluger's listed as a fourth liner's list. Yeah, we're probably going to use Kyra as our depth center. Um, I know he's still potential, but he doesn't get better. He just he just doesn't. We've only got two left wingers, Taylor Hall and Rocco Grimaldi, and right wingers we've got a ton. Um, so Nazan can probably play down defenseman we have a ton one two three four five six seven eight um so looks like we're gonna try to get rid of geo but for now we have petrano geo krug niskanen Safard, and then either probably bowie's gonna be that guy out we can have Carrick and Weger play down so we definitely need a couple of left wingers so far i think that's gonna be it yeah and then we got 87 markstrom and 80 and then um, let's go with, in the system, we've got Nadelkovic, we need a backup. So centers, we have uh, Lauren Dauphin. Left wingers, we have Engvall, Dalcol, and Quenville. Right wingers, we have Luff and Ronning. And then defensemen, we have Siegenthaler. So we're going to have two more guys in there. We're definitely going to need some, some AHL dudes, but we can just pick up some guys. Um, Alright, so let's see who's available. We got five minutes. Just take a quick look here. Take a quick look at our free agents and see. We definitely could pick up some left wingers here. Who do we have? We got Matt Hoffman. He wants a big old contract, doesn't he? Um, let's go with potentials. Oh yes, we do need to sign De La Rose, and we do need to sign uh, Ogley. Those are guys. I was. I, I made these guys. So I made these two guys. Um, both enforcers. Um, I generally change them up because usually it's easier to pick them up in a free agency if they're an enforcer. Um, not as many. They're generally more likely to go to a team like this one, but because we got so many good players, they're probably be more likely to sign with us. So we got Ogi Ogilvy. Actually, Ogilvy's got three teams interested in him. Two G's. Okay. Um, we might not get Ogilvy, but we'll probably get De La Rose. He says he has nobody, no interest right now. He's 20 years old, 75, low franchise. Enforcer, um, passing and puck control is kind of low. Offensive awareness is high, so is defensive awareness. Shooting's kind of, it's all. I mean, pretty, pretty standard. I kind of just made everything 80. Um, I dropped some some stuff lower. Passing puck control, speed endurance. Um, his fighting skills 90. Really physical, but he's an enforcer, so he should be. Um, I've actually found that if you turn him into a playmaker or a sniper, he puts up freaking points. Seriously puts up points. Doesn't doesn't pass a lot. He's generally a goal scorer. But you make him in a sniper and he just freaking rockets shit. And then we've got six foot five, two hundred fifty pound Ogi Ogilvy. Ogi the Ogre Ogilvy. High elite. Um enforcer defenseman, also twenty. He's only a seventy overall. But he's got ninety body checking, seventy five durability. His durability is kinda of little bit ninety fighting skill, eighty strength, eighty aggressiveness. Skating's not that great. Um offensive awareness is eighty. Defense awareness is eighty. So I mean he's definitely a guy that could take that's gonna take some Take some 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 seasoning down, but I mean, they're both both solid prospects. Both of us. Let's go with. Uh, let's actually look at UFAs, please. Um, yeah. So we need to see Hoffman. Who else we have? We have Ilya Kovalchuk. We can make him into. We we got Connor Sherry. Um. But yeah. So uh, let's see. We got two minutes left. So yeah. Let's just we'll just give you a look through here. Um. Let's just go over here. We'll look at um. At that here. Dude. Here's you know. Let me guys know in the in the comment section below who you think we ought to pick up for some defensive, um, not defensive, um, for uh, our left wingers. Um, you can just pause the video if you want to look in any way specifically. Just keep going. Just go for a little while. Perk Yorkin, yep. Given looking into getting some lower potentials here now. Fourth liners, top four guys right there. Um, and then we'll look at goalies. So we do need an AHL guy. So let's see. We got Hopi and Leonard. Who? Jeez. We got Markstrom though. Markstrom's good. Um, we got Bersois, Forsberg. Um, some guys we could put in, um, Wedgwood, just some guys we could have in the AHL. Bach, Richard Bachman. Let's get Bachman as the backup. Yes. Him and Nadelkovic. Let's get Richard Bachman, the Bachman. Um, yeah. Um, and then for uh, RFAs, I don't really think we'll pick up any. Malcolm Subban the only one that's available for goalies. Um, but yeah, there's our RFAs. A little bit of potential to see. Two elites, Sergeyev, Mantha. Um... Not really a whole lot of guys that could probably be potential that we could pick up. Maybe Sorella, but yeah, no guys we could really pick up. Um, but all right, guys, that's it for me. Um, I'm the Cranky Yankee here. This has been episode one 
of we're listed as a contender. We could totally go and make the playoffs now. But that's just because we have ridiculously good defense and ridiculously good goaltending. We're going to be getting rid of some of those guys. Let's save the game so that you do not forget. Create new file. Please let me be able to do it. I didn't check and see if I had a free slot. I hope that I do. It looks like I do. Um, there we go. All right, so the game is saved. This is the Seattle Kraken. Um, the Sea Crackers. The Sea Kraken. Um, that would be it, guys. Um, I'm the Crane King. Let me, go, let me guys know what you think in the comment section below. Who do you think we have picked up at free agency? What do you think of my draft? What do you think of my picks? Um, any ideas of anybody we can trade? Um, I basically just signed everybody just so we had people. Um, that's for me, guys. Let me know what you think. I'm the Crane King. We'll see you guys in the next one. Whoops. I went to the AHL.